The first real F1 car of the 2023 season is finally here, so let's take a closer look. As predicted in my 2022 F1 summary, we see another F1 team changing to the large downwashing side pods. Alfa Romeo started with a high undercut design last year, but now also opted for the Red Bull solution where they pull lots of clean air down towards the beam wing, which sits above the diffuser exit. That way you can generate more downforce, and that also leaves less exposed floor area, which allows the floor to be stiffer. Because of that, it's vital to keep the lower rear area as slim and tidy as possible. And Sauber made a big step here. In return, that means that the cooling exit has to be pushed higher to release low energy air between beam wing and rear wing. The rear of the cooling exit looks like it's directly pointing at the beam wing. Why would they do that if you don't want low energy on the beam wing? We shouldn't forget here that there is a strong airflow underneath towards the beam wing. Even if the exit is pointing down, it won't reach the important beam wing. Which, by the way, has a serrated trailing edge for less risk of early separations. Instead, the downward slope helps to pull more air down towards the rear wing. Also, the airbox changed a lot and it looks like the 2019 C38. Especially the side profile of the airbox changed a lot. Last year it ramped down quite quickly, revealing a huge shark fin. The C43 keeps the bodywork up for much longer, resulting in a weaker shark fin vortex, which in return could disturb the rear wing much less in high-speed corners, which used to be one of the problems of last year's car. The front of the car stayed basically the same, but Alpha promised updates here during the season. In addition to high downwash side pods, the Swiss team also used huge undercuts to guide more air around the side pods and to keep the front wheel wake outboard. For the same purpose, we can see the rear mirror mountings and the new larger mirrors for the first time. Another talking point is the floor edge. It is raised by 15 mm this year and Alpha showed an interesting solution. But we have to keep in mind here that they presented two cars today. One rendering with a cascade of little wings and a show car with only some slots in the floor. Since Sauber has a tradition of showing extreme floor features that never make it to the track, we should wait and see how they really hit the track at the first test. And another interesting fact is that Alpha is offering exactly this show car in an auction, so in two weeks it could be yours. How do you like the new Alfa Romeo C43? Let me know in the comments below and check out my other videos for more.